just behind them is Bas Varsen on the Hitachi KTM UK, fueled by Milwaukee. And he is in 10th place. 15th in race one for the Dutchman. Right, back markers on the horizon. Yeah, that gap is going out even more now between Prado and uh, Watson. Oh, a slight bobble there for Watson. Doesn't get over the tabletop cleanly. His teammate goes around the outside, might get the pass here. Oh, he's got to be careful. Watson will hear him. He might let him by at the top of the hill. Well, Yago Kier, well, he doesn't let him by. He found his way past. They've got to be careful here. They need to keep it clean. Now he has clear track. Fantastic ride for Watson in the first seven laps, though. But his teammate now has a chance to go and do a job. But it's Mitchell Evans in fourth place, just behind these guys who just set the fastest lap of the race, a 152.5, and he got to win three seconds of them. There he is, just in the background. So Watson needs to keep the old uh, rear view mirrors on lockdown because he's going to be seeing a whole lot of Australian charging down the hill. And up the other side, if he's not careful, right onto the rear wheel of his Yamaha in a few moments' time. Sanai is now up into 15th place. He's just found his way past the Revo Husfana of Alvin Oslin, but it's still Jorge Prado, but it's now Yago Hitz loses in second and Hitz in third. Mitch Evans here, Honda 114 Motorsports, number 43 from Australia, two podiums so far this year in the FIA Motocross World Championship in this MX2 category. One at the first round, the other in la last week in Portugal. This was the moment Yago Kitz eventually went around the outside of his teammate Watson to take over that second place. And here he is again, Yago Kitz. So 